What's going on guys? It's you here bringing you another review on Dr. Stone. This episode, we continue to make some huge strides in the series and I'm just kind of perplexed to see how fast Senku and everyone in the village is making all this progress. They finally harness the ability to use hydroelectric power which is something that's amazing in itself uh, but they don't stop there we have them actually making a battery and now this is something that i wish i could do because honestly you know having batteries uh, especially in times where you don't want to you, you know like uh use you know use up the electric bill you know you kind of take it for granted but having your own homemade battery or like a generator of that out type that'd be kind of cool and so it's really awesome to see you know how they're able to you know store the electric power and these batteries uh, it was funny also to see their reaction i think for most of this episode everyone was just kind of lost as to what was actually going on and you know understandably so i mean a lot of this if not everything is truly going to go over their heads because it's not something they'll ever truly understand because you know they're it's not that they're not smart it's just that they don't understand the mechanics all the way but we also get to see you know how they're you know all the other stuff that they're able to do you know getting ready for the winter and how senku has been able to help with that uh, i did like that little montage where we see people gathering food everyone is actually working together now that's something that you know we hadn't seen a, in a while especially with this village you know we hadn't seen what they would be doing we have fishermen getting ready we have you know some hunting others getting ready for the fight that's going to happen in the spring you know in general everyone is preparing we still see that even kids are helping out with making the coil people are cooking you know making ramen and you're just you know everyone is doing a part and that's something that i really tr truly appreciate in this episode because yeah the battle's about to begin but you know i really like seeing these kind of things you know it, it might seem like you know eh, you know it's filling in blanks you know it's kind of wasting time or whatever but you know these things are a necessity to make their cell phones and we also get to see you know senku getting stumped now this is probably the first time uh, that we truly seen him stumped when it comes to already making the light bulb and making it to where it was it would not burn out which of course you know light bulbs nowadays actually do you know after so much yeah, so much usage that we get out of them but for their intents and purposes you know these these things could probably last longer than a normal light bulb would and you know i do like to see you know senko struggle because he doesn't always have the answers you know and him seeing you know him being stumped because of the lack of certain materials and how you know it, it's almost feeling like well we got to go back from you know the beginning but they know that if he doesn't figure out something that he they won't be ready for their uh cell phones and you know when it comes during for the attack with uh Hyoga and Sukasa, they might be at a disadvantage when it comes to communicating so i honestly don't know you know what what, what would have happened had this not happened you know at the very end of the episode uh we see timing pass you know it's winter it's snowed and ironically we get to see them all spend some time together in on christmas uh which i what is it's a weird moment you know especially now at the time of year we're actually you know here in the u.s and you know uh people celebrate thanksgiving and so it's it's funny to see you know we're getting to that time period and then we get to see you know the sunrise through the new year uh chrome actually went out to gather some stones you know and this, this is what comes to actually help out in the end because we have suika always trying to prove a point always trying to be useful and sure enough we see here because of the reflection of the sun or yeah excuse me the, the yes the reflection of the sun during the new year's or the sunrise we see that she actually finds a, a gem that not only is it rare but is going to prove it to be very, very useful for what Senku needs. And this actually is a groundbreaking thing. So Senku now is back on track to continue on. And now they're going to have to find even more materials for this uh, this thing to help with making the light bulbs. And it's crazy enough because we have Chrome excited because now they go find and 
more of this stuff. And then when they kind of go to the selection of who would be their third member, I did like how they did like that uh, kind of like Tekken style of, you know, picking who would be the next person. And it turns out that Magma is going to be the picked. So we'll see how he works with these two. I'm sure it's going to be a bit stressful. But guys, that is it for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, leave a like, comment down below your thoughts. And as always, stay safe, take care of yourselves and others, and I will catch you later.